and welcome to the channel Damian Jackson here back with another video so you see it says Facebook extends Trump ban indefinitely over incitement of violence bullshit 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 sprinkle some cheese on top some mayonnaise mustard maybe close the sandwich bam bullshit sandwich there you go what the fuck is wrong with these people the media is just flat out. They don't even care. They don't even care to stretch the truth. They just flat out lie. They don't. They just flat out lie. He did not incite violence of any type of manner. It says President Trump is banned from posting on his Facebook and Instagram accounts for at least the next two weeks until the transition of power to President-elect Joe Biden is complete. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg wrote in a post Thursday. So Facebook is a publicly traded company. Mark Zuckerberg is clearly the CEO in the face, but we know when you have those publicly traded companies, they sometimes the board of governors or whatever you want to call them, the board is, is in control. <laughs> He's just the face of right now. And then this is blows my mind because censorship in America is real and they're willing to censor the active president over nothing and i'll show you exactly what president trump said in his video that's insane that's insane i don't care if you like him or not censorship should not be allowed he's not inciting riot or violence at all why do some shit like this why do some shit like this it says why it matters it's an extraordinary step for facebook to take given that the company has been one of the slowest to take action against the president's account as, and it has historically prioritized free speech, especially for world leaders. What? Slow action, prioritize free speech. What the fuck you mean prioritize free speech when you allow shadow banning? When you, when you uh, take down people's pages and stuff? That's you know, fucking. They don't care about free speech. They care about censorship. They care about censorship. They care about censorship. They're essentially. Is a, a they're a wing or, or an extension of the arm of the deep state controlling the flow of information. It says Trump was also frozen out of his Twitter account for breaking the platform's rules and may be banned indefinitely if he breaks Twitter's rules again. Fuck Twitter and their rules. <laughs> like <laughs> this is what we're talking about. This is why they didn't want Section Two Thirty to be appealed or changed in any type of way, and that's why they rushed. And still try to and still pass the National Defense Authorization Act, even though Trump clearly vetoed it. Congress said, "Fuck it." These people don't care, man. They don't care, and they don't want the person in office who's trying to tell the people what is going on. They don't want him to talk to anybody. It says, "What is what's happening?" After a pro-Trump mob seized the U.S. Capitol, that's false. We know that Antifa was there as well, and. Did they actually seize the Capitol? I mean, it seems like if you watch the videos, it kind of got let in. Maybe there was a, 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 a display of resistance, but it wasn't a real resistance. If anything, they definitely got baited. And those, those people that are there that are Trump supporters or wherever the case may be, got baited into a situation and you saw what happened. Somebody got shot and died. But after a pro-Trump mob seized the U.S. Capitol for hours Wednesday, social media platforms began taking dramatic steps to limit the president's posts, which suggested the rioters were justified after pressure from his aides. Trump posted a video telling his supporters to go home, but adding that he loves them and that they are very special. So Trump got pressure from his aides? Which aides? The same one... And the lower cabinet are, are all of a sudden resigning with a couple of weeks left to go in the so-called presidential term. This makes no sense. Uh, something from Mark Zuckerberg. It says, over the last several years, we have allowed President Trump to use our platform consistent with our, our own rules. At times, remaining, uh, re at times removing content or labeling his posts when they violate our policies. We did this because we believe that the public has a right to the broadcast. Uh, to uh, <laughs> the public has a right to the broadest possible access uh, access to political speech, even controversial speech. 
but the current context is now fundamentally different involving use of our platform to incite violent insurrection against a uh, democratically elected government. As I stated in my uh, post on my podcast today, or the episode on my podcast today, key term, insurrection, insurrection. Why do they keep saying insurrection? Insurrection Act, maybe? Just throwing it out there. It says, we believe the risk of allowing the president to continue to use our service during this period are simply too great. Therefore, we are extending the block we have placed on his Facebook and Instagram accounts indefinitely for at least the next two weeks until the peaceful transition of power is complete. So, that's so insane. <laughs> that means if they'll if they will stop the president from speaking, they'll stop any one of us from speaking on their platform. It's funny because if they're a platform, why are they acting like a publisher? Interesting, right? Well, let's see what Trump actually said. This is from the Gateway Pundit. And as I'll scroll to the top. You see the headline. It says, President Trump releases video calling for peace. Tells supporters to go home. Twitter limits video, quote unquote, due to a risk of violence. And I watched the video. I shared it on my tweet. So you follow me on, on Twitter, Damien underscore Jackson 2. If they, if they probably took it down. I'm not even sure. I haven't checked yet. So direct quote from President Trump says, I know your pain. I know your hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. True. Factual evidence provides proof to back up his claims as well. I don't know what else to tell you. Then he said, uh, it was a landslide election and everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election, but we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happened. You see the you see the the way you see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel, but go home and go home in peace. What what about that incites violence? What about that incites riot? Right? It says over incitement of violence. I'm sorry. How is that a violent thing? What the fuck are these people talking about? Why would they not want that message out there? Maybe some of the Trump supporters who are caught in emotions, maybe they needed to hear that. Wouldn't it be best to broadcast that message to it through as many media outlets as possible? Why would you want to take that down? He's clearly denouncing these things. He even tweeted before to respect law enforcement. And yet, they want to take it down? These are the questions that need to be asked and addressed. Yet, people who speak of things like this are being silent. Why is that? Why is that? You have to understand that it's intentional. Because in order for the deep state, the media, the government, the shadow government, the globalist agenda, in order for them to get over on America and take down America and get rid of American freedoms, we're going to censor the president. If we can censor the president on our social media platform and act as publishers, we can do that shit to any fucking body we feel like it. And that's what they're doing. They're essentially flexing their power. Saying, look at what we can do. Look at what we can do. This is bullshit. Don't fall for it. So until next time. This is a dangerous group. Is it groups that we're dealing with now?